Hey, it's Todd Gross. Listen, mail it. It's coming out on Friday at 11 o'clock Eastern Time. It's only $37, a WordPress plugin that can seriously, without exaggeration, replace any autoresponder service that you're using. And of course, they charge monthly. Their delivery rates are not good. MailIt is a proven system that works. It's been used by the owners. Of course, we're talking about Mike Thomas and especially Brett Rutecki, who wrote this software. It's a WordPress plugin with 200 beta testers out there, including myself, proving that this is a true autoresponder service that you could use sending from your own link and you don't need a relay service like SendGrid or MailJet or any of those. This is just straight out on your own. And this is all explained in the interview I have with Brett coming up right now. This is truly revolutionary software, even compared to the other similar software that I've told you about in the past few months. This is even going one step beyond, and Brett will explain why. Now, on this page as well, I have the bonuses and an explanation. You actually go to see videos of the bonuses, which are unbelievable. It, you're going to be getting high-class software that you can not only sell, but that you can give away to build your list. And then you're also going to get to see behind the scenes effective email techniques that I used and that Sam Backer used when we teamed up last week and promoted Doodly to become the number one team of affiliates to promote that product. Now, Sam and I, in case you didn't know, are the number one affiliates on JVZoo, and we're going to show you our secrets to our email last week when we won that Doodly JV contest, as it's called. So you're going to find out how we did it and you're going to see that it applies to this product because we're going to show you our emails and how Sam's technique is so different than my technique and how both techniques work. I'll show you exactly what those are in our other bonus. All right, so those bonuses are below this video, but let's go to Brett right now. He's going to talk all about MailIt and how this can truly change your life in internet marketing. Todd Gross here. I'm here with Brett Rutecki, who has come out with a piece of software that is killer it's coming out on Friday. What's the date that it's coming out, Brett? My it's, mind is mush. It's uh, August 19th. August 19th. All right. Now, it's called Mail It, and of course, we're talking about an autoresponder system, sort of. I mean, it's your own. You're mailing out from your own server, and if Brett, you could explain the difference between doing that and using an autoresponder like AWeber, GetResponse, MailChimp, et cetera. That's a good place for us to start because this thing is apparently doing really well for you. But I first want to talk about what it is. Well, I guess probably the easiest place to start would be to explain why I even created this in the first place. Um, and, and when I first started in the internet marketing space, you know, I, I realized that I needed to send out emails. I mean, that's like a core to our business. I think we can all agree on that, that email is like a core aspect of our business. Um, so when I started in the internet marketing space, I, I really didn't have a lot of money. I mean, I used to be a freelance software developer. I made 50, 60,000 a year. I got a family to support. I didn't really have a lot of residual income to just, you know, invest in, in a, a high expensive service. So I went with MailChimp and uh, MailChimp has a free service, you know, 2000 subscribers, 12,000 a month, which is was fine for me just getting started. I went with them and uh, everything was fine with them for a while. And then all of a sudden, one day, I logged into my account, and they said, you're suspended. You can't send emails anymore. They have this, like, automated robot. They call it Omnivore that detected something in one of my emails. I don't know for sure what it is, and they just suspended my account, so I was done. Yeah, before you go e even any further, I just want to point out that this has happened to me multiple times where the autoresponder service receives a complaint, and therefore, it just trips up a, a variety of circumstances, which disrupts my emailing and the emailing for me too is critical that's where i make virtually all my money from and we're talking about multiple six-figure income that could just virtually stop if the emails don't go out so that's why it's so critical that uh this be solved that you have a way of making sure that those emails go out in the past um what i've done is i've just had a zillion different E uh, email autoresponder services, and that's how I've solved it, but your way is much more efficient. I'm sorry to interrupt, but go ahead. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that's you're absolutely right, and that's what happened to me. When, you know, I was building up my business, and I finally got to the point where I was using MailChimp, I was making some money, and then all of a sudden, they just shut me off, and I was like, N now what do I do? 
I'm out of business. Like I literally just, I felt like I lost my business. I did lose my business literally overnight. I woke up one morning, it was gone. Uh, so I'm like scrambling around and I'm trying to find a place that I can upload my list. Uh, so I ended up coming across Aweber. At that time, it was when Aweber first started releasing uh, or first started allowing, I should say, people to import their list for quite a while. They didn't even allow imports. Right. So they allowed me to import my list. Uh, they filtered out about 25 to 30 percent. So they I imported, say, 3,000. I, I was pretty new at the time. I imported like 3,000 and I ended up only getting like 2,500 that Aweber actually let me put on their service. The other several hundred, they just said, oh, you know, to, well, you can't add them. No explanation. <laughs> just you can't add them. But, you know, I, I didn't want to argue like I didn't want to argue with them because I was like, thank God, at least I'm not out of business. It's better right. than zero. Right. So I didn't argue with them. I went to building my list again, building my cut, my reputation, building my, you know, my reach. And I got up to nine, 10,000 subscribers. I started making leaderboards, started doing well. And then all of a sudden I started getting bounces and I started getting you know, unopens. And, you know, we all had problems with Aweber several months ago where it was just it was a terrible time. And I started thinking about this. I started thinking about all the problems that I'm having, getting suspended without reason, being told I can't upload my list, getting these bounces. And when I called Aweber and I asked them if I was doing something wrong, they told me, no, it was on their end. It wasn't my fault. So all of these problems, they were all centered around one thing. And that one thing they were centered around was that I was taking email, the most important aspect of my business, and I was putting it in the hands of somebody else and saying, here, take the most important aspect from my business and completely have control over it. That just doesn't, I started thinking, I was like, that just doesn't make business sense. It's just right. not a good model. Now you said that, uh, you know, your solution to doing that, because you obviously recognize that it didn't make a lot of sense. Your solution was to spread it out, to reduce the risk by spreading it out to a right. lot of autoresponders. Right. Well, I happen to be a software developer. So my solution was to say, you know what, the heck with you guys, I'm going to make my own system. And that's where Melee came from. Excellent. Now, since that point, several months ago, and you moved over to your own system, um, I know that you have been doing really well, even better than previously when you enter any of these so-called JV contests or when you're generally promoting products. How does it differ, first of all, your system versus an autoresponder when you, when you mail out on your own? What is the mechanics involved that you're what are you actually doing here okay so the main difference is when you mail out with an autoresponder you're basically mailing from their server you're mailing from their ip address now generally speaking a big name autoresponder is going to have dozens of ip addresses they're going to have a lot of them they're not just going to have one uh, but they also have tens of thousands of users mm -hmm. so what happens is with these big name autoresponders is that if you if anybody on their system gets put on a black list. anybody becomes a spammer, anybody starts doing dirty things, what's going to happen? That IP address is going to get blacklisted and all of a sudden they're going to get bounces from that. And this is actually a constant struggle with the autoresponder services. They're in a constant fight to try to get rid of the dirty users and make sure they're not on blacklist. But then another guy sneaks, sneaks in and then they have problems. And this is like they actually have teams of people that just can consistently try to like fight that spammers getting in and hurting their reputation. And that's why your bounces go up and your bounces go down. And sometimes they're good and sometimes they're they're bad and that's why you always hear like this autoresponder is great and then three months later you're like oh this autoresponder sucks I'm gonna now this is the new good one uh, so by having my own system and mailing from my own web server my own domain name and that's an important aspect by having that there's nobody else that can hurt my reputation now if I'm a spammer I'm gonna get a bad reputation and I'm not gonna do well but as long as I'm not a spammer as long as I'm following the rules, there's nobody else that's going to hurt my reputation. So I don't have to worry about those issues now. And that's actually a, a key difference between Mailit and some of the other systems that came out. There have been a lot of other systems that have come out. And what they do is they use what's called SMTP relays. That's a really fancy way of saying, I send the email to you and then you send it out to somebody else for me. Basically, a relay is the third party, the delivery company. So a lot of these self-hosted systems that have come out have used them, those SMTP relays. SendGrid is one. Uh, Amazon SES is one. Those are just two off the top I of my head. MailJet is also another one. Yeah, MailJet is another one. And the thing about those is, is it's still just a third party. So you're still putting your, hand, your business in the hands of a third party. It's really no better 
than an autoresponder because yeah, your ma- business mail is li- limits my emails that I can send out to 240 per hour. I can only send 240 per hour, which of course over the course of the day means I can't send much more than 2,000 emails in one day. And the reason that happened to me was again, uh, they just got some sort of um, email or something came in that alerted them to look over my account. Then they wanted me to jump through all kinds of hoops to prove that I was, you know, this upstanding person that wasn't spamming. Now, this would not have been a difficult thing normally, but I'm just, you know, all over the place. My brain is all over the place and I can't pull together information just like that for them. So I just said, to heck with it. And I didn't bother to, to, to jump through all their hoops. It just bothered me that, you know, it was in their hands. Plus, I was being charged an arm and a leg for it. So uh, whether it was, you know, sending out to my own um, server to them and then having it relay, like you said, or using a Weber, no matter what, I was running into these kind of problems. And then on get response, my problem was I just couldn't get open rates. I can never get open rates on get response anymore. Um, and all of these cost a lot of money as well, and they're monthly fees that go on and on and on. So in your case, when you're mailing from your own server direct like this and you're in your own control, um, using this particular software, are there any ongoing costs that you're talking about? Well, I mean, the only ongoing cost would obviously be that you have to have your own website and your own domain. Uh, but you're probably going to have those costs anyway. I mean, right. there's a reason that I made mail it a WordPress plugin, and that's because my blog happens to be a WordPress website. So I, I, that's what I had anyway. Uh, so yeah, though, no, there's no ongoing costs. And, you know, I always think of like Vegas, like the eye in the sky. That's what these SMTP relays and the autoresponders are. They're like the eye in the sky watching over you. If they don't like what you're doing, they could send the guy down and tap on your shoulder and say, we'd like to ask you to leave, please. Yeah. That just doesn't make sense, you know. <laughs> You're talking about in the casinos. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really funny. Yeah, that's you know. Funny like, analogy. I love it. Yeah, that's exactly I mean, right. You don't have to even be doing anything wrong. They could just be uncomfortable with it, and they're more than welcome to say, sir, we'd like to ask you to leave. And it's fine because it's private property. And that's how these autoresponders are and these SMT relays are. They don't have to do business with you. And if they're just uncomfortable with what you're doing, I mean, they don't know you. They're They're – it's within their right to say, sorry, we can't service you anymore. And then you're out of business. That's always bothered me about Vegas. And on all those shows, you know, when you, you see the guy you get tapped and then they kick him out and then they beat him up in the alley. I'm saying, where are the police? Why isn't anyone doing anything? That's pretty funny. <laughs> well, the um, responders aren't going to beat you up. But <laughs> <laughs> So listen, uh, this is coming out on Friday, as we said, the 19th. What time in the morning and, and, and what's on the inside? I mean, because this is a one-time charge is it going to be uh always just one time are you moving to monthly like you often do or how are you going to be doing this and and what kind of one-time offers do you have if any on the inside no now mail it is going to be a one-time charge it's not going to move up to a monthly fee um i was going to write it anyway like i said i I use this exclusively now for my business so every dollar i've made for the last a little over three months now which is well over well, probably about seventy-five or eighty thousand in the last three months I've made with Mailit, um, and the reason I did that, incidentally, is not only because I wanted I wanted it for my business, but I knew I was going to sell it after I created it and I started using it. It just made sense. I mean, why not let other people use this as well? Uh, but I knew that in order to ask other people to put their you know their business in my plugin's hands, I had to be willing to do the same thing. Uh, so I actually even deleted my list from Mayweather. Uh, but to answer your question, no. Well, you not- just passed over an important point. Don't forget what you're going to say. But you just said you deleted your list from a Weber. Now, that's pretty bold. If you did that, we know that this thing is pretty trustworthy. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, you know, I, I was testing it out. And I, I started, I didn't send them to my whole list at first. I'll be totally honest with that. I, I didn't at first because I, I just wrote it. And I was like, I was a little nervous, you know, because I mean, there's always that little self-doubt. Uh, so I sent to a few hundred and it started working well. I sent to a few thousand and it started working well. So then I uploaded my own list and it was working just as well and in many cases better than the autoresponder. So then I said, why am I still paying the autoresponder? So I just bit the bullet. I said, you know what? If I'm going to ask people to buy this, I need to be willing to say I believe in this. And I called AWeber up. I actually have to call them to delete your list because they won't let you do that, you know, like through their interface. Because when you call them, they're like, are you sure you really want to do this? You know. 
So I, I called them. I told them to delete my list. And my, my business literally is 100% now in the hands of my mail it plugin. And as you know, I, I as well has a, have a multiple six figure business. Right. And you also have had multiple people testing it. And so have I. So um, I didn't even know how you'd feel about my handing it out to other people. But I have a couple of people that were really, really fussy. Brett. So I did something sneaky and I didn't tell you about it. One guy was trying every single thing that he could do to send from his own server and to use all the other pieces of software that are out there. And they had pluses and minuses. And he was really grumpy. And I said, all right, try mail it. And I gave it to him to test. And he tested it out and has had absolutely no problems with it. And then you also had um, a couple of hundred beta testers on it. And you said, no problems uh, with it as well. So this is not something where you're just using it and you're saying, hey, I used it and nobody else has and trust me because I used it. You're saying I used it and so did 200 other people and they're having no problems with it. So I just wanted to point that out. Well, yeah, one of the things about me selling software, I mean, I'm obviously in the internet marketing space. I'm obviously in the MMO space, uh, but I come from a software developer's background. So when I write a software, I still do things in that way i still write it test it myself that's called alpha testing and then i get some beta testers that i still go through a proper development cycle uh just because you know that's what i used to do and that's the way it's done you know uh so yeah i, I actually had well over 200 people testing this for several months actually uh, and you know they you say they have no problems they, they they had no problems with the mailing aspect i mean they did have like oh it would be nice if there was a button here and it would be nice if this was easier to use and and that's a part of what beta testing is to make the set to not only make sure it works, but to make sure that it's going to be easy for people to use and people are going to have no problems with it. I derailed you. We were talking about a couple of things. First of all, <laughs> the uh, other than the base product, I, I didn't know if you're starting out with a certain price, then moving up in price. I didn't know if on the inside you had upgrades or training. I wasn't sure if you could lay out how. Uh, your so-called funnel is going to look on this. Yeah, initially it's going to start. We're going to sell it for thirty-seven dollars. That's for the plugin. That's for personal use. Uh, so to use on your own websites. If you have multiple websites that are actually your websites, like not like my brother's website, not my my buddy's website, but right. if you have multiple websites that are actually your own website, you can put it on each of your websites. I'm not going to tell people you can't put it on all your websites. Uh, that's on the front end. It's $37. That's what it's going to start at. It's going to end at $47. So the price will go up through the launch. And then at the end of the launch, I'm going to move it up to $67. And as you know, I sell all of my stuff evergreen. Uh, I don't just like my, my stuff doesn't vanish. I continue to update it. I continue to sell it. But you, of course, will get $30 off if you buy it during the initial launch. Uh, for the upsells, uh, there's going to be the upsell is going to be the developer rights. Now, that is so that you can actually put it on sites that aren't yours. So you can say to your client, hey, I'll put this on your website and you can get rid of your autoresponder. But, you know, just give me a hundred bucks. Uh -huh. so, so you could charge someone else almost like you're an autoresponder service. Well, yeah, you could do that. You can almost say like, yeah, you can. You, I don't know if you would say you're an autoresponder service, but you're basically able to use this software and sell it to other other people, to other clients and other customers. Uh, that is an upsell. And I think that's a fair upsell because every person you give it to is one person that's guaranteed not to buy it from me. So, How much is that going to run? Uh, that's going to be $47. In addition to that, we're also, Mike and I are going to do a live training. Uh, we're going to explain how we do email marketing, how we build our list, uh, how we get the good open rates that we get, how I consistently make, you know, I, I make about forty to $50,000 a month. Everybody hears that one, $1 per subscriber per email. Well, I make like forty to 50000 per month. I only have a list of 10000 That's mm -hmm. it. So I'm making 4 to $5 an email. So I'm going to explain to people how I do that. Um, I just got a, an announcement. I just got told by Laura I'm actually – Finally, one of the uh, the top ten percent or top ten sellers on on JVZoo. Uh, it took me less than a little over, well, actually a little over two years to do that. I mean, Laura Castleman, you're uh, referring to. Yeah, yeah, she sent me a message. I, I got a little ego boost from Isn't that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I, I was like, yay, because <laughs> I, I saw last year. I saw everybody getting those plaques, and I wanted. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's funny because it, I have the plaque here somewhere, and. It, it says top seller and it doesn't explain that it's like one of the 10 or one of the 20 or whatever. It just says top seller. So everybody thought they were the top seller and they're holding up their, their little <laughs> the trophy. Line, it's yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to explain to people how I was able to come up so quickly. 
I was able to build my list quickly and more importantly, how I'm able to build a relationship with my list to get to the point where I can be a, a top seller with only a, a 10,000 person list. Cause that is in this industry, a fairly small list. Yeah. Well, they know, like, and trust you, the you know, KLT, um, which yeah. is very important. So that um, will be the, the first OTO, the developer rights, as well as the live training. Oh, it's included. Okay. Is there anything else on the inside? Uh, no, that that's the uh, that's it for the, the, the first OTO. Uh, there is a second OTO. Uh, the second OTO is what I call my agency. Now, I know you've seen that before, right, where I have oh, my yeah. agency access. Yeah. That's where people can actually take their developer a step further. So when, with developer, you basically get the plugin. You can install it on other people's site. You can charge them for that service. With the agency, you can actually put your JVZoo buy button on my sales page. So right. I, actually, I actually have a system that allows you to put your JVZoo buy button, and it sounds complicated. It's very easy. Thousands of people have done it. It's not the first time I've done an agency with one of my software. And then they can actually sell my software. Using okay, so for instance, if I want to do that, I, I purchase your OTO2, and how much is that? That's $97. I was going to guess 97 I didn't want to put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> so for only $97, I could purchase that, and then – on a regular basis, I can advertise through Facebook or Google or whatever I want, wherever I want, or send out even to my list. I, on a regular basis, I could sell this software as if it's my own that way. Is that correct? Yes. If you wanted to, Todd, and I hope you don't do this, you could wait until we launch. You can buy the OTO. <laughs> you could send out to your list and keep 100% of the sales price. Now, I wouldn't do that to you, Brett, but I, I'll tell you this. I would do that after your your initial launch if that doesn't bother you and, and passively uh, promote it, you know, through yeah, advertising. No, absolutely. absolutely. After the launch, you know, that's why people, I want people to do that. Now, um, I, I really do that. I do that a lot for the, the new people as well because I know how important it is to sell one of your own products. I know that that's an important thing. I know that's a great tool for list building. Uh, that's how I started my business. I created my first product. I did a WSO and people started promoting it. That's how I built my business. And I also know that I have an advantage over other people. And the advantage is that I was a software developer. Other people have to hire a developer. And that's a big leap of faith to say, I'm going to try to get in this business. I know I need a software. I know I need something to sell, but I'm going to, and I'm going to hire a developer to create a plugin or a, a mail system or a software for me uh, because developers are expensive. When I was a freelancer, I billed out at $75 an hour. You know, a system like mail, it might be a hundred hours of work. Uh, so you're talking about $7,500 and you didn't even get a sale yet. So I created my agency. So new people, can have the opportunity to sell a software without needing to invest thousands of dollars in the software. And okay, but are you limited to the pricing? Like, is this a, the exact price that you will be charging? Is that what I would be charging? Yeah, you have to sell it for, for 47. I, I'm gonna raise my price at the end up to 67 so that people can undersell me, but they have to sell it at 47. And the reason I do that is because I don't wanna start a pricing war where it turns out to where people are starting to sell it for 99 cents. You know that because that, that's what. No, we're no, that would be that would be unwise. But actually, the fact that you're allowing us to sell it for twenty dollars under your asking price is pretty pretty significant. Plus, the price is very low compared to what people would normally spend for an autoresponder service. I mean, I I was negotiating with an autoresponder service on Friday last week um, for one thousand five hundred per month, fifteen hundred dollars monthly. And you're talking about $47, period. I mean, the difference is just night and day. We're talking about a huge difference. So um, on a regular basis, um, for people to be able to find this when they're looking for it through search, um, that is a tremendous thing to be able to sell on the back end, as we call it. And I, I really appreciate that you're giving us a break uh, allowing us to sell it for 47 when you'll be selling it for 67. That's really, really fantastic. I think that is such an appealing um, portion of this. I don't usually dwell on the um, upgrades. I usually promote the main product and people um, you know, say that they don't necessarily like to be pushed into upgrades. In this particular case, this is so valuable to be able to be able to resell this that I just want to point that out that this is very 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 valuable you know Tom, right. when I, I say this I say this a lot when I say it it sounds like a gimmick it really does but I honestly want everybody to make money online 
And that's why I do things like that. And the reason I honestly want make everybody, everybody to make money online is both because I like to think I'm a nice guy, uh, but also I make tools for internet marketer. It's good for me if you make money online. Uh, yeah, so I, that's yeah. why I do that. I, that's why I try to undersell or allow you to undersell me because I want you to be successful. All right. I, I don't want to stray too far off topic, but just to show you how we're in the same mindset. I'm always asked by um, marketers, you know, um, colleagues of mine, why I don't promote high cost items. I'm usually promoting things in the twenty seven dollar, thirty seven dollar range. And um, it's almost like I'm they're mad at me for not promoting high cost items. And the reason I generally don't is because you can't help as many people with high cost items as you can with lower cost items. And this gives folks a chance to really delve in there and see if it's right for them rather than force a high cost product on somebody when it, if it doesn't work, then they're out a lot of money. So this way you could really spread it out to a large number of people. And a product like this at only uh, 37 to $47 is an incredible example of that. And I'm really, really glad that you kept to that pricing because I know you could have asked for a whole lot more. Fantastic, Brett. So we're talking about mail it. It's the autoresponder alternative that allows you to mail right from your own uh, server, so to speak. Are there any bonuses or anything that go along with this? Um, how's that work? Um, well, I have, yeah, I have a couple of softwares that I add it. Because um, one of the things that you need in order to, to build a list, Mail it does have a built-in form builder. It has everything you would expect inside of it. Um, we didn't look at it because we, we've been more talking than demoing, but I'm sure that there'll be a demo. Um, but one of the things that you need if you're going to build a list is you need to have something to give away. I mean, that's one of the main ways of, of building a list is you build up a squeeze page and then you give a product away. You, you give a software away or you give something away in exchange for the opt-in. So I included some of my softwares, uh, my Jack Jacker, my ClickBar. Uh, there's a couple other ones that I've included in there. These are actually softwares that I use for list building. I included them inside of Mail. So now way you also have something that you can give away in exchange for the opt-in. So that way you can build your list. I wanted it to be as complete a package as possible. For yeah, that does complete it off. All right, so you said that you would be able to show us a demo because I've used the software myself. It's very easy to use. Would you be able yeah, to show us? I can go ahead and show you my account. I can share my screen with you if you want to see it. Absolutely. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and do the full screen. You should be able to see my account here. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so yes. Yeah, that's so inside WordPress. Yeah, this is WordPress. This is my this is my WordPress site. This is my blog. Okay, uh, and then lower left it says mail it. So you click on that. Yeah, let me go ahead and I can try and increase this for you so maybe you can see it a little better. How's that? Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Now, this is the last email I sent out. Uh, I didn't get a lot of opens, and I didn't get a lot of clicks to this one. And I'll be honest, this was a remail. This is a, this was me sending to my own opens. And as you know, when you, you call send 869 email, unique opens, not a lot. Uh, when I show you some of my other results, you'll see why that's not a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll go over here. We'll go over to messages here. And I'll show you some of my other results. So this is my chat response. This was my chat response review. And you can see my review for chat response. I got 1,818. I got 16% open rate, 806 unique clicks. Uh, if we go ahead and do the second email that I sent to chat response, I've been, I've been uh, excuse me. Chat response is a product that came out last week is what you're referring to. Yeah, that's what I've been promoting. And as you can see, I really, there's my doodly review. Uh, there is my... Uh, text response review. As you can see, I actually really do use this for my reviews. All my yeah, actually, I read your Doodly this. review that came out. I didn't realize it was through MailIt, but of course. Yeah, there it is, right here. All yeah, my, I use that. My... I use that review to help me in my promotion. Oh, I appreciate. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, you, you you think that my reviews are worth reading? To, oh yes. Uh, um, you go ahead and, and the way this works, though, is you go ahead, you upload your subscribers, or you can add subscribers. If I go to my messages here, uh, if there's anything you want to see in here, anything that you want clarification or want people to see, just let me know. Um, you go ahead and you create your list. You can see I have my lists here. There's my main list. It's only 10,000. Those are all your lists right there? So you yeah, have a list with 10,930, yeah. Yeah, and if we go into AWeber here, I'll log into my AWeber account, and I'll show you that there's no list there. <laughs> anyway, <Weber. laughs> there's my Aweber account, <laughs> and I will go to manage lists. That's it. I got this one called software opt-ins. That's that's because I've got. Uh, so you have, I'm too lazy to change, but you don't see no big list here. No, ten thousand nine hundred gone. I, I really did delete them from Aweber, and I took them over here to mail it. 
Uh, so once you go ahead and you create your list, you can then go into the subscriber section. You have a couple of options. You can add subscribers individually. If you have bulk subscribers, like I did when I went from AWeber to Mailit, you can upload your subscribers. Or, of course, what you can do is go ahead and click on this little link icon next to all your lists, and you can go ahead and create an opt-in form. And that's where these bonus plugins and stuff that I'm giving away uh, in, with Mailit come in handy. So you can create your opt-in form, and you can say, hey, I'll give you Brett's Jack Jacker plugin if you opt in, and you can build your list that way as well. Oh, uh, very good. Once you get your opt your list cre created, you start getting subscribers. Simply go ahead and on the messages section, click on new message, select the list that you want to mail to, enter in your subject. This is a WYSIWYG editor, so you can highlight things, bold it, change the font, change the size, uh, save your message. I'm not going to actually save the message. Uh, you can also go ahead and you can click on uh, send test. So you can, if you want to send a test email to yourself, that's so usually a wise thing to make sure you didn't screw up the link or make a mistake when you type something or a spelling error. You send a test to yourself. You can go ahead and send the test to yourself. Uh, it'll take you back to the messages, and then you click the send button, and it will send your emails for you. Right, fantastic. As I said, I've actually used it, and it is that simple, what you just showed. I mean, it's, there's nothing more to it than that. I wanted to make it, you know, when I when I started deciding that I was going to make this be a product that I was going to sell as well as using my own business, I wanted to make it as simple as possible. Because I think a problem that a lot of people have sometimes is they'll buy a software and it'll be very convoluted, it'll be very complex, it'll be very difficult to use, and they say, I'll get back to this later. Uh, because it's difficult, and when something is right. difficult, there's resistance. So you say, I'll do this you know, tomorrow. I don't have time for this right now. Right, and then you and never get tomorrow, to it. Right, yeah. yeah. It never comes. Tomorrow, as we know, never comes. Uh, so I wanted to make it as simple as possible so people can get this and actually start using this and start building a list and start sending out emails right away. It's just so simple. And now, in order to gain subscribers through a web form, how does that integrate with this? Well, you can go ahead and create your own web form. Um, yeah, the, now you can see why I say 800 was low. There's 2,250. And that's not bad from an 11,000 person list. That's a 20% open rate. A, a lot of people don't get that. No, that's really good. That is really good. I haven't had that kind of success in a long, long time. So like I said, you, if you want to add subscribers via an opt-in form, mail it does have an opt-in form builder into it. You go ahead and click on the link icon there. Enter in your settings, so like you can see this little form right here. Mm -hmm. You can change the tag, you can change the font size, the color, change the you know the button settings and stuff. I'm not going to customize it because you know there's no need to for an example. But what you do is you just get this the way you want. This is your preview, and then go ahead and click on generate code, and then there's your form. You can also take this form to systems like page builders, pop that in there as well, or a lot of systems will say give us your form code, it will automatically integrate. Uh, this will work with that as well. Oh, great, great. So anything that you could use the form code that you generate with an, another service like AWeber or whatever, um, you could use this form code for all that software that you're in, in a similar fashion. Yep, absolutely. And that's one of the main reasons I put the form builder in, uh, because a good mailing software isn't going to be very useful if we can't get the people in there. So Yeah, because there have been other mailing softwares, as you call it, a relay type softwares where it helps you create the messages but it doesn't always uh, allow you to do the um, the form building and uh, the actual getting of the opt-ins you have to import the list so that's one important difference between mail it and what we've seen come out previously in weeks and months before um, I don't know I mean I'm just so in awe that you put this together for us um, it's so critical in terms of the money that I make the the lists that I have. I would be dead in the water without them. Um, as much as I do do other things that I profess, such as advertise on Facebook, which I know you've done much more than me, um, and other ways, it's just pales in comparison to the regularity that I make money with my list. And it has always been that way from when I started late 2005, early 2006. Um, I've been very steady with it. I'm one of the most steady internet marketers out there in terms of never deviating path. And the path has always been on exactly what you're doing right here, right now, Brett. And that is, of course, ensuring a way that your emails get delivered, get read, and that your list gets built. So I appreciate that you're putting this out at such an affordable 
cost. You're going to save people so much money with mail it and at the same time, give them the success when they mail. Thank you so much for going over it all, Brett. Fantastic uh, presentation. And we look forward to you releasing this. Last question, training. I understand that training is involved and kind of included. If you could just make sure, tell us how we're, we know that we'll be on the right track once we purchase this and we won't be just left hanging in the water. Okay, so there's actually two, two trainings. When you go into members area, there's training. Uh, that's deliverability tips. That's to give you some tips on, on how to craft your emails, how to how to check your emails and make sure they're right. And then, of course, there's training on how to use the plugin that's built right inside of the plugin itself. I always put my training right inside of the plugin uh, because it just seems to make sense. I mean, if you're in the plugin and you need to, you have a question about how to use it, you shouldn't have to log into a membership site. Right. Uh, so I put it right inside the plugin. And of course, there is a link to my support desk. And everybody has a support desk, but there's something unique about my support. And the unique thing, as you know, is that I actually answer my support. So when you go ahead and you send a question, you say, hey, how does this work? It's not going to be some VA. It's not going to be some assistant. It's going to say, well, let me ask the developer. It's going to be the developer that answers you. It's going to be the guy that actually wrote this code that uses the system itself that gives you the answer. And I think that allows me to give better. I'm not saying anybody else's support is bad, but I think that allows me to take support for my customers to a next level. Fantastic, Brett. All right, great. Have a great week leading up to this launch. We look forward to its release. It's mail it. It's going to like save our lives, so to speak. And I just personally can't wait to get this out to folks. Thanks again, Brett. All right, thank you, Todd. And say hi to Mike for me too.